But you know, when I see things like this, it only shows me that he's a good kid. Harris Jay is the perfect example is that we look at someone and we're just like, that's who they are. No, people can change. But you know, when I see things like this, it only shows me that he's a good kid. You know what I admire? Not just about Harris Jay, all of you guys. I admire you guys. I admire you guys that you've given me a chance. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video. And man, oh man, oh man, this is why I admire Harris J. You've seen what this this man is doing, you know, mashallah. I keep, whenever I look at him, I look at him, I think he's like 14. You know what I mean? But he's grown, mashallah. He probably has like chest hair and stuff. <laughs> mashallah. May Allah protect us. You know what I mean? And the reason I admire Harris J is because at his age, looking how he looks, I wasn't doing what he's doing. It's like the way he looks doesn't represent the way he feels on the inside. And it could be a form of artistic, you know, creativity and how he wants to show himself and express himself. But he's a perfect example of someone that we shouldn't just look at a person and dismiss them. We look at them, they have an earring. Ah. Ah. This type of behavior is wrong. It shows the other person that they can't change. It's telling them that if you're not perfect here, right here, right now, you're done. Is that the truth? Is that how life works? If you're not good right now, that's it, you're done. When has that ever been true? When has that ever been true? The Messenger وسلم, before the age of 40 was getting primed for his position. And when he was in the, the, the time frame of prophethood, he was getting tested and primed for the next stages of the deen. Medina's tranquility would not have felt good if you didn't experience the turmoils in Mecca. You're, you're dealing with some Mecca turmoils right now. And you won't be able to appreciate the Medina, the goodness, the khair, the, 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 the calmness of, uh, and the coolness that's coming your way if you didn't experience the hardship that you're in right now. So take it easy. Harris J is the perfect example is that we look at someone and we're just like, that's who they are. No, people can change. At his age, you know what I was doing? It freaking make me get demonetized or I have to put like a rated R thing on this, bro. You know what I was doing at that age? May Allah forgive us. There's so many other people that are doing similar things. But you know, when I see things like this, it only shows me that he's a good kid. And, you know, it's, it's funny because I'm stuck in, in the middle of like two generations right now, right? Because I say that out of love and respect to the kid as a, as a younger bro. But his, his, I'm cool with his dad, Raheem Jung. May Allah increase him. And he's, he's just a bro to me, you know what I mean? So I'm just stuck in between, you know, two people because I know his dad. I know, you know, the quality of person and how he was raised. And, you know, and, and people, you know, I don't, I don't like it. People look at him. And they just, you know, like they assume they know him. But you've never sat down and had lunch with the man. You don't know him. You're not his neighbor. You haven't traveled with him. You don't live with him. And you've said that he's bad. How? Oh, but Brother SQ, we judge from based on what's apparent. How many times have you, you know, read a situation based off what was apparent and you found out that you were wrong? Tell me. How many times have you not, you know, have you ran a red light or a stop sign? It's apparent. But you still missed it. You understand? There were so many times where, you know, even in, in, man, subhanAllah, it's like we could now go down this rabbit hole of that. We could now go down this rabbit hole of that, but I'm not going to do that. Or I could do that. I could do whatever I want to do. 
You know, like I, I, I want to make this video 37 minutes long. I'll make it 37 minutes long. You understand? Like you, you have to do what pleases Allah, not what pleases the people. You understand? So look, I, by me saying I admire him, I'm, I'm talking about at this age, his, his like attention on the deen. Because when I was his age at that time or the prior times before his age, I was not on that. The reason I admire him is because he has a head start over me. And if kids like him could get better on the dean, and how many people look up to how much influence does he have? He could change the scape single-handedly with the permission of Allah, obviously, to, to help our youth, you know? But that comes how? Improve quality of friends, improve quality of circle of friends, situations where you put yourself. There's levels to this. There's a way that you get where you need to be. But Allah has blessed him, and may Allah continue to bless them, and the families, and everyone, and everyone who's struggling out there, man. It's, it's okay to look yourself. It's okay to look yourself. But as long as within the bounds and permissions of Allah and, and the boundaries of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. I had earrings. I had two in each ear. One hair, one hair. I'm not going to get too close. I got some hair on my ears. I should get this waxed. My wife is too busy. Otherwise, I'd ask her to do this for me. Should I? Hold on. I don't know. But I have two earrings right here. Two earrings right here. I have two earrings. I was doing that. I wore a leather jacket over here today just so y'all know. Just so y'all know, you know, for the vibe, to set a whole mood. This this look is a mood. That that's the mood of this video. Like, just stop looking at people and making decisions, brother. We judge from what's apparent. Uh, what did Dawood Alisam do, huh? When he was tested. Come on, people. You guys are the knowledge ones. I'm just a regular dude here. Tell me in the comment section below what what surah is that? When Dawood Alisam is tested by the two men who hopped over his wall, his wall of his kingdom, right in front of him. And one man said that he, this man has taken my sheep. I'm not going to even tell you the whole story because I want you to go explore it yourself. Go look at the story. And what did Dawood Alisam do? He judged from what's apparent. He didn't even listen to the other person. Just judged from what was apparent because it looked like the other person was in the wrong and one was in the right. Just from judging from what's apparent. And how? He even listened to him. And he found out that it was a mistake and it was a correction from Allah. What was that lesson? Judging from what's apparent. There, there's a lesson in that. Look at it yourself. Who am I? I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. Don't come after me. Mufti Miswak. That's my name. Mufti Miswak. What do you think? Huh? Mufti Miswak. That's my name. That's the reason I admire the kid, man. At his age, I wasn't doing that, man. I was just trying to, I was just chasing what I got to chase. When we look at him or kids like him, he's a microcosm of that generation of kid who is stuck in both worlds, right? And this is no disrespect to him or his family or anyone, you know? But it's, it's a microcosm because this is a problematic issue, not just for Brother Harris J, but like for everyone, for you out there watching maybe. Some of y'all relate to me more because, you know, I just look more, more, more like you, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I have the same problems as you, you have. I'm not any more special or better than you are. The only difference is I just record on this and you guys watch me, which I appreciate and love, you know? Did I promote my uh, Christmas Day Dawah special? No, I didn't promote it. I just did now, technically. Did I promote my Patreon? Shout out to all the Patreon members out there. I love ya. I love ya. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. And it's not even about the contributions. There's one section on my Patreon that I've opened to. It just says the real ones. Because there were people saying that, bro, we want to support your Patreon. But you know, you have the Dava Investor tiers, the Platinum tier, the Diamond tier, the, the Entry Level tier. Like you have all these tiers, but it's not one I can afford. I said, my bro, your du'as are enough, but I'm going to open a new tab. And I, I may Allah reward him and everyone else who was encouraging me to do so. But that's not, that's, there's no profit in that. There's nothing in that. But it's just showing your love and support for me and, 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 and your belief in what we're doing over here. Because this is a community. We're fi Last time I checked, we were like 50 Patreon strong. 50 Patreon strong. SubhanAllah. 50 Patreon strong. That's so incredible. I'm a, I'm a joke. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a joke. I'm a joke. There's 50 people who are saying that, hey, SQ, even though you're a joke, <laughs> we believe in you. We believe in what you're doing. We, 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 we are investors. We're supporters. We're real ones. You all are real ones out there. Even if you can't support, you're a real one out there. I, you know, 
what crossed my mind the other day was the iPad video, part three. I'm happy that the views are where they are right now because it teaches me a lesson that the real win for me was meeting those individuals that night. Not what's going to come out of this video. Does that make sense? I'm not here for that. I'm here to bring you value. Don't bring me value. I want to bring you value. Stop. Don't Patreon. Unpatreon. Un Unpatreon. Don't, don't Patreon. No, nothing. I love you. The fact that you watch, I love you. That's enough. I don't need... I love you. The fact that you allow me to express my artistic creativity, get these ideas out of my head. Do you understand that these were the ideas I used to have walking to the masjid? This was happening in my head all the time. I just never had a, a medium to express this on. So I appreciate you and I love you. And, and I'm, 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 I'm indebted to you. Because on the Day of Judgment, you will be asked and questioned of how you spent your time. And part of your day, part of your life, part of your time was spent watching me. I will be there. My, I, whether you like it or not. I will be there on the day of judgment and I pray I'm not amongst those who you want to curse and say, go away, go away, SQ. You led me astray. You wasted my time. You, you harmed me. You hurt me. You, you're, you're dragging me to hell. You know. Instead, I pray that it's... It helps you. It, it helps you get close to Allah. It helps you under, it, get under His shade. And if I'm not there, ask for me. Make dua for me. If you're in paradise, you don't see me. Make dua for me. You don't know what I do privately. You don't know my struggles. I stopped caring a long time ago. I did. All this, this is all bevafa. That's what this is, is bevafa. All of this. It doesn't last. This is the height of me. This could be the height of where I'm ever going to be in my life. So I'm going to say it how I say it, how I want to say it, because this might be my last chance to say anything while someone ever watches me. Tomorrow it could all be taken away from me. Make the most of it. Don't expect, I don't expect this. I don't expect to live tomorrow. This could all be over. Who are we? We know nothing. Arrogantly making plans. Like I'll be there. Inshallah. Who am I? You know what I admire? Not just about Harris Shea, all of you guys. I admire you guys. I admire you guys that you've given me a chance. <laughs> I admire me you've given me a chance I'm a nobody bro I don't deserve your time I don't deserve your love your affection I don't deserve anything you're this is just gravy this is just the sprinkles on the ice cream which I need to chill man I need to I'm about to do some I'm about to do some extreme sunnah stuff. I'm just building leverage right now, guys. I promise you. I promise you. There's going to be some good content coming out too, inshallah. I admire you guys. You've given me your time. How much time is this right now? On counting, approaching 13 minutes with the intro of, of me breaking down. Could this is do it in the comment section. I want to acknowledge you, friend. I want to acknowledge you. Every single comment, you're just like, hey, SQ, show us how you break down the video and put things to the front and all that sort of stuff. You're right. I am. I am going to do content like that. I'm going to just show you what I do. Show you all the secrets. Take it. Take it away from me. Take it away from me and just build this. This is the legacy. This is it. This is the height of my career. This is my legacy. Take it. Take it from me. Take my ideas. Take them. Make them your own. Make them your own. Take them. Do something. Just, just, just make the offer for me in the process of it. You know, this is not, I have no stake in this. My, my only stake is to spread Islam. I want to ask you to sponsor Qurans, but at the same time, I don't. Because these Qurans are going to get sponsored no matter what. 
We're going to give out these Qurans no matter what. And I'm working on getting you guys out there so you can start giving out Qurans in your local area. I'm working on that right now. I'm working on getting you uh, a whole, I'm working a system where you can request a box of Qurans and you can give them out. I'm raising this money for you. It's not like these Qurans, we've raised enough money for 26,000 Qurans, over 26,000 Qurans. Who did? You guys did. For the deen of Allah. That's what you guys were doing, man. You guys raised money for this. Now, these Qur'ans are going to go to da'is such as myself, such as yourself, who want to just go on the street and give da'wah to people. It's going to go to da'wah stalls, so meaning masjids, massages, you know, all across. Qur'ans are going to be given in hospitals. They're going to be given, inshallah, they're going to be given in prisons. They already have been getting distributed. And overall, the productions of Qur'ans will increase. You see, the more Qur'ans we can give to the people, the more we have a chance of eradicating Islamophobia. You see, we're thinking of Islamophobia, how to tackle it. It seems like this massive problem. But all we do got to do is start somewhere. This could be a little start, right? It starts in a little area, and then a bigger, then a bigger, and then a bigger one. If you ever played uh, uh, GTA, uh, San Andreas, Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there was this time where you could own the blocks for like gangs and you start with a small gang area. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about right now? Please tell me in the comment section below right now. I'm not the only one. You can build, you can build, you can build, you can build, and then you could just do How did Islam even start? It started in the depths and the secrets of a cave in the home. SubhanAllah. And then look how it just spread. Look how it just spread. We could do that here too. We could do that here too. But it just requires people, bande. Real, real bande, real people, men and women, brothers and sisters, who are just sincere for the sake of Allah, sincere, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to, to promote Islam, to do fun stuff. I want, I want to do uh, some really fun social experiments. If sisters, if you're out there for, for, for the hijab day, when is that ha happening? It's coming soon, inshallah. I, I want to do something for that. I want to do something where I have a stall where, uh, where sisters are making hina for other sisters, non-Muslims, so they could come by and make the hina for them. I want, to, I want to do something cool. So if you're interested in New York City or you know someone, please, 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 please get in contact with me. That is something I want to do, inshallah, soon. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. I, I know these videos are supposed to be about Harris J and uh, it's really about all you guys. It's really about you guys and my love and appreciation and affection towards him and his dad and his beautiful family. You know, and we shouldn't we shouldn't look at people and just judge them. We shouldn't say nasty things about people. He, you know, you're reciting the Quran. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how sincere he was. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that. But it looks sincere to me. And our, and our first... Our first thought shouldn't be to judge them and to assume the worst in them. It should be to assume the best in them. Say, wow, mashallah, Harris J, mm, keep going, bro. Take this momentum. Get closer to Allah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep further. Encourage it. Become a cheerleader. Right? Fusi Tube out there, become a cheerleader for him. Adam Sally, become a cheerleader for them. Slim all of them. I'm not saying that because they're like bad brothers or anything like that. No. It's just like, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I'm not saying that their content. And let's, just, let's just talk about this, right? My, my content is heavily based on Islam. Okay? The organizations that these brothers are working with, I was working with them. Okay? They, for their, I, I don't know, may Allah bless them. This is nothing, you know, against them, but I'm just speaking what it is, you know what I mean? Can this get me in trouble? Maybe, if you take it in a negative way, or you could take it in a positive way, or you could just take it however the hell you want to take it, because I want to say whatever the hell I want to say. La ilaha illallah. Okay. I was with the shaitan regime. I want to make sure these things aren't influenced by the shaitan, you know? But the thing is this, the reason I'm mentioning those names is because they have influence over a generation of people. The better they become, the better their audience becomes. The better they become, the better their content becomes. Our job should want to be to give them tarbiya. And if it's not me, okay, screw you, brother SQ. Give them a good uh, sheikh, a scholar, someone they can vibe with someone. They should be linked up with someone. They need to have an usra. They need to have a support system. Design it. Okay, leave me out of it because I don't know what I'm doing, right? Running a uh, mass, uh, ma who? Who, who's that? Who's Mass? Who's Mass SQ? Who's Mass SQ? Do you know what Mass is? I'm not trying to brag over here. But you know, Mass never invites me to nothing. And I've worked with their masjid closely. Muslims of American Association or something like that. I don't know. Mass New York. Giving a khutbah in their masjids. But any big event, you don't want to call SQ. That's okay. 
That's okay. You think that's an L? No. That causes me to create uh, quizzing strangers for an iPad. Oh, SQ, you're not going to be featured in the ICNA conference. Okay, no problem. I'm going to create quizzing strangers for a dollar. Huh? Oh, you don't want to work with me anymore? You don't want to invite me to these trips? You don't want to do anything like that? Huh? You don't want to, you don't want to call me? Okay, SQ is going to make uh, quizzing strangers uh, about Christmas for a Nintendo Switch. You don't want... Like, we, we need each other. No way. We, don't need, we only need Allah, bro. And the, re I'm, the reason I'm saying this, I'm sharing this with you guys, is because these brothers have massive influence on people. They need good, good support systems. Make an usra for them. Help them out. Loved ones, family members of those brothers. Create a s strong support system. That's what I do. That, that, that's, uh, it's not SQ so SQ can get clout or something like that. It's just that these brothers have an influence over an audience. The better they become, the better their audience becomes. Screw you. Don't even put me behind the scenes. Don't even like mention. Don't ever put me in a vlog. Don't ever put me. I won't even vlog about this. I'll sign a privacy act. I don't give a damn. I want to help the brothers out. Yeah, I see the I see the comments. Oh, brother, uh, SQ, go on Slims and their their podcast. These dudes aren't inviting me. They don't want to work with me. That's that's just the. It's the, I'm putting that out there. They don't. So I know you're asking me, and this isn't coming from a place of a cry for help. I want to be clear. Please try to understand what I mean. It's coming from a place of love. Screw SQ. Cancel SQ. Get them the help they need. Get them the help they need. These are good brothers out over there. Get them a strong support system. So, hey, Webb, he's a good uh, scholar, good sheikh. Oh, SQ, I don't like him. Okay, then suggest someone else. Who is it? Mufti Mank? Well, then make sure that he's in a, a WhatsApp conversation with them. Let's get a Mufti Mank, a Fusi Tube, Slim, and Adam, uh, you know, WhatsApp conversation. How about that? Huh? Let's get that going. Let's get that for them. Create a little usra for them. But they're good brothers. The better they become, the better their content becomes, the better their audience becomes. Simple as that. Alhamdulillah, as it should be. Hey, beautiful. All right, guys. Started about Harris J. Then it becomes about who knows what. And it is what it is, guys. It's just, it is what it is. You know? I don't care. You don't want to work with me? Don't work with me. Because my image is too Islamic. Well, okay. Am I... Am I supposed to change my image, be fake, just so I could fit in with a group of people? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Switch up, unfollow people? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Mmm. Mmm. I'm not throwing, trying to throw no subliminals. But that's how this game works. It's ugly. So I stay away from it, period. It's ugly. You know, it's a game in, within the Muslim sphere. Masjids don't want to work with other masjids. Speaker, once I got said, you, I'm going to make a video. This is a video in itself because this, you know, this is getting a little too long. SubhanAllah, may Allah protect us. You know what I mean? But I got banned from a, not banned, but like I got uninvited from a masjid in Birmingham. I think it was Birmingham. No, no, it wasn't Birmingham. It wasn't Birmingham. Uh, it was Manchester. It was Manchester. It was Manchester. Why? Brother, please, please, you're in the UK. Come over. We'll take care of everything. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, no problem. Days before the event's about to happen. Oh, the elders want to see. Oh, who is it? They've shown your content. Aki, they don't like it. All right. Okay. I can still reach you through your phones, right? Don't invite me to the conferences. Don't invite me to the massages. You're acting like I'm not in your children's ears. Please, I could go to these conferences. And what did happen? What happens over here? Yeah, I love that video where I went to Ikna or whatever. I was just making my video and kids were following me. Why weren't they in the rooms? Why aren't they in the rooms? That's my fault? Okay, I handled myself wrong. Okay, I handled myself wrong. I could have handled myself better. I could have done better. This is, a, this is my area of room to, uh, you know, improve and grow. I do have a temper. Because I don't like being told I can't do something without any, you know, legitimate reason to. You know, I know what it's like to be profiled. I know what it's like to be stopped for no reason, for it to be spoken to in a demeaning manner because you, you look, I don't pass the eye test. You don't know what I'm going to sound like. You don't know what I'm going to look like. You don't know, you don't know how like, I'm going to come off. You don't know what the power of how, how when I speak, how it impacts people. You don't know, but you look at me, you're like, ah, oh, this dude, does he even have a ticket? And you know what? No one really raised a question about why they even said that about me. No one. I, I, I got profiled. I got heckled. 
I got I got treated in a manner, but no one's asking about but you're like SQ. But that's okay because Allah is on my side and I came out victorious in that. Alhamdulillah. Could I handle myself better? Sure. That's my area of improvement. So the next time something happens, I'm there. But I might set up a Jeopardy stall. Wait till this all this opens up. Wait till this opens up. I'm going to just make it myself. Why? Because that's what happens. When you don't invite me, you're doing me a favor. Ikna, you've created a monster. Do you understand that? I have, I have something. It's not that I have something to prove. I have a lot to give. And I know that I can, if I can reach people by the permission of Allah, I know I can impact people. I can. By that permission of Allah. Not because I'm some great individual and I'm so cool. And blah, 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 blah. No, don't put me on the stage. I'll make my own stage. That's how it is. And that's what you guys got to do out there. Someone's not giving you a chance, you create your own lane. Make your own lane and then stay in your own lane. And when other people try to come into your lane, how? Why? Maybe to use you or are they coming sincere? Some dudes come in like they're sincere but they turn out to be fake. There's so much politics within the game. There's, it's a game and it's, it's sad and disgusting. I stay away from it. Organizations want to work with me? I'm not really interested. I'm not. Hey bro, can you share this? I can't. I'm not. I'm staying away from the game. It's a game out here. I'm, I'm being serious. You know, I feel like I've, I saw what it was like. I'm going to start releasing my Ilm Feed podcast. I'm going to start releasing my iArrow podcast, my, uh, my Freshly Grounded podcast. I'm going to start releasing some of these podcasts that I've done with these, these major people. Major people. I love them. They're all my brothers for the sake of Allah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, please don't get this twisted. Please, uh, you know, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan al Let me just see my wife. Hey, get down from there. Get down. Thank you, beautiful. May Allah protect you. It's a game. I'm not getting involved in the game. You don't want to work with me? Screw me. All right. Well, don't work with me. I'm all right. Allah's blessed me. Allah's provided for me. I'm okay. Just don't be fake with me. I don't like that. People change up. People switch up. They don't want to be associated with certain people. That's okay. You don't want to be associated with me? Okay. It's cool. Maybe Allah's protecting me from something. Maybe Allah's protecting you from me. I wouldn't want to be associated to me either, to be honest with you. You guys don't know the amount of sins that I perform. You don't know how, how bad of a person I am. You don't understand how, how bad my intentions can be sometimes. You, you guys don't understand me. This could be all fake. You don't understand me. I, I wouldn't want to be next to me either. That's why I'm, I'm chilling by myself. I'm chilling by myself. I'm okay by myself. I don't need... I'm okay. Alhamdulillah. Allah's provided for me. I told you in the last video over here, the Um Abdullah video, which I posted when? When? When it's all over? I didn't even use their name. I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want that video to blow out. I don't know how many videos. Wallahi, Allah, Allah's my witness. I have no idea how many views it has. And blah, 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 blah. Nothing. I've responded to some comments and that's about it. I'm not, I don't even have their name in it. The reason I have Harris J's name in this one is because Harris J is a real dude who I respect and I love for the sake of Allah and I love his dad as well too. And, you know, when, when they watch this video, I want it to mean that they're like, you know what, SQ did us justice and he didn't do that. Because, you know, whenever you see someone's name mentioned, if it ain't your name, you don't know what it feels like. But you can have like a mini heart attack. Like, what the hell did this dude say? And it's me. And you never know uh, what you might get with me. If you feel me? But, um... But yeah, this video has gotten a little long. If you made it to this far, to the end of the video, uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, an Amazon gift card. So first, five people who message me get an Amazon gift card. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out of here.